Last time on Strip Search. The Areola Circus. Godspeed. So you think Lexi should go home? Yeah, you're gonna make me work for it, but I'm gonna aim for it. Super nervous for both of you guys. We are coming down to the wire. 30, 30 seconds. Fucking shit. God, I don't want to send either of these home. This is funny and that's wonderful. I don't want to set that on fire. Do no, we can't burn it. Lexi, I'm sorry, but you are not the strip we're searching for. I know that it's just a testament to how hard we both worked. I was so happy to not be up for elimination. I was still kind of scared that there was a chance it would, it, that I would get picked, but um, I was just so thrilled to just hang out with people. It's great to be back in the house. It's great to take on some new challenges. I think a lot of people weren't expecting it, and so um, it'll be nice to continue on. From listening to him talk, uh, the kind of like the time frame he sets himself and the like amount of work he does, I was not surprised that in a competition where comics are presumably being drawn, that he came out uh, on top. It seems like he would work well under pressure. Good morning, artists. Good morning. How are you all feeling today? Really good. Good, good. Well, we've got something special planned for you today. You've been doing a lot of drawing and creating on, I guess, what you'd call in the grand scheme of things, fairly small mediums. So we've got something a little bigger planned for you. So get your coats. It's time for a field trip. Welcome everybody to the Strip Search Graffiti Bunker. I don't know why I didn't uh, expect that, but I, I didn't. I was genuinely surprised when, what, it's behind us, whoa. Ah, you got us, you're so you bastards. <laughs> We're gonna be putting you in teams of three and you'll have an hour to create some street art. This is a spray paint challenge and I've used some spray paint before and it's unruly and messy and not my type of thing. Shit, if we have to do something hip, like it's not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it. I've never really used spray paint, so I don't have any idea on how it's gonna bead, how it's gonna handle. I wasn't incredibly excited about uh, street art as a challenge. What we wanna see out of you is collaboration and indication that everyone has had an equal chance to contribute to the final product. Ooh, I see where this is going. Your teams for this event, Tavis, Erica, Monica. I think that we're gonna get along. Like, I think that we're gonna be able to do something and we will at least be able to work as a team. Amy, Abby, Nick. I was hesitant uh, based on how Abby had done any communication challenge yesterday. When I got picked for that team, I was like, this is a good team to be picked for. Mac, Maki, and Katie. I was really happy to be paired with both um, Maki and Mac, just because I know that they're both kind of quiet and polite and I get along with quiet and polite types. You have one hour. The design is up to you, but we're looking for some indication that everyone has contributed to it. Begin! Do you have anything, do you have any experience with spray paint? Yeah. Being the one with experience that there's pressure on me to kind of take charge, and I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with leading, I'm comfortable with following when I don't feel that I should. What do you like to draw? I like to draw monsters. Um, I like drawing octopuses too. Oh, maybe we should do that. Well, and like tentacles kind of works like roots too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. You could actually make the tentacles. Spray paint as a medium, like you don't work small details, and the bigger you can go, the smaller details you can make, I guess. We got we got the wing. Okay, it's gonna be completely like you got the wing, you got that, and like you got the face, whatever. 
I want to like test out how good my actual control of these things is. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a smart choice. I so I it... saw something on TV about like a guy showing how to like get different line widths and stuff with spray paint. And now I'm trying to think. I saw something very similar, and I have no idea. Initially, we were thinking about uh, kind of. Uh, what sort of imagery we should be drawing from, uh, and it seemed appropriate to pull something from the group, but that was also kind of uh, playful and could be blown up, uh, and the the house is just full of pineapples. Because I mean, I kind of love, I love the like the tiki quality that this is coming out. It's you know really bold. It's like something that you'd see on the screen. It's like oh, that's really fun. Like that's just kind of. There was something that the whole group kind of had. Uh, if not an emotional connection to, then kind of a, an inside joke. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. It's messy. We came together and I believe worked really strongly as a team. All of us have kind of never worked with things before. This is, this is challenging. <laughs> actually, iconic features. I kind of, I really like that. That's really nice. Pineapple with like beard and, and the black rim glasses. Black, purple, and teal. You have 45 minutes remaining. Ah. The reality of using spray paint? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. <laughs> Our, our piece was all about line work and very kind of intricate line work and wow, that did not translate. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in this spot right here, okay? I'm gonna rip up some cardboard for some masks. Katie and Maki were great to work with. I thought that was a lot of fun. Or what if we used like a, like something completely different? Okay. Nick, you seem to know some interesting techniques. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we really like that. Nick was an asset. Um, I was pleased to listen to him, let him take the lead. So this is kind of a disaster. What if we just covered it over with one solid cover and then just put our hands against it and spray painted on top of that so our handprints would just show through? <laughs> <laughs> the more we worked on it, the more like the realization set in like, oh, oh crap. Nope. I go figure these are the best looking ones. It's fine, and this is where the it'll start to get covered up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just you just stroke first. Yeah, you can even just do the stroke without pressing the button first and just get a feel for what yep. you want to do. Am I getting the angle right? I think so, right? Does that look good to you, there? Oh, I think that that's actually nice because it gives it some. We could actually do some black right there, so it feels like it's. Everyone was really supportive. It was really easy to pitch an idea or to perhaps turn down an idea or change an idea, and nobody got offended. Everybody worked really well together. Right, so just like fake do it. Make the wing small, do a weird kind of little perspective here, and bring this wing out. You can keep it in the same position, just kind of like, ugh, like angle it a little bit more. Alright, it's ready. As we're going, I can tell that it's missing something. It needs some more depth to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the stuff. That is the stuff. Yep. Just do it. Don't be too precious. Doesn't this isn't like illustrator. Yes. Fantastic. I was looking around at other people's and I was, I thought ours looked really great. Matt, I think just something like that, you know, going over the, it's like the final thing that. Right? We know what that is. It's a feather, exactly. but it's not your stereotypical feather that I kind of outlined for you. I like that. No, it's fine. Ooh. 
Okay, well, this obviously is not gonna look like what we thought it was. Let's just keep putting more colors on it. Let's just own it. I start by taking one of the cans and just jabbing the cap down into the ground to get like just a little pool of paint and then using the back end of the pencils that we had, the eraser, to act as a paintbrush. Uh, then I went in and I took the eraser to you know, kind of gum out some of the other paint to create simple detail. Oh my god, did you want to take the yellow and just like far back, just blast the middle of it so it falls back a little bit? Oh, that's smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five minutes. We can come in on it if you need. No, 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 it's good, it's good. I was very happy with how it came out at the end, uh, and I think that the narrative of it tied the whole thing together, and uh, I thought it was a great piece. I'm trying not to use the word degradation, but <laughs> um, the more we worked on it, the more like the realization set in like, oh. And that is time! That is time! So, artists. That is not tenable. Artists, how was that for you? How many of you have used spray paint before? Nick, and maybe some of you. All right. I think you did pretty well considering for most of you that was your first time. Quickly, we're going to go around and have you all explain to us your design and the collaboration that went into it. And to help me out with that, we're bringing back Erica and Levin from PA Design. All right, let's hear what you guys have to say. Okay, well, I came, sat down and just said crows, we should do crows. And then like, just was like, we should do three crows in a circle and then like they popped in and we're just like they should be descending and onto something and I felt awesome the whole time and appreciated and like part of the team and we were really working together extremely well it was perfect. I think Abby uh, just needed a little encouragement and I think that um, the challenge yesterday that uh, like there wasn't enough give and take between her and Mac but in our environment with me and Nick I think Abby was was good. So Thank you've done this before Nick? Yes. Yeah. Uh, spray paint is a very difficult medium, uh, very, very difficult. It's, it's a popping medium, so like outlines are strong. You can't start with an outline and try to fill it. It's really difficult to do it that way. Uh, it's always better to just kind of hit the block, uh, blocks first and then try to outline it later. Um, the other thing is, is like I knew that, that drips are going to happen and it's a good way to try to find a way to incorporate that. If you know it's going to happen, you might as well try to plan around it. And... I saw you making some of those drips on purpose. Yeah. And Amy, what did you bring to the table? I didn't really have a job, any particular job on the team. Uh, I was there to be a laborer. I, Nick asked me right away if I had any experience with painting, which I did. Um, not a lot of experience with spray paint. I didn't see her that way. Um, like, I felt like she contributed a lot. She was doing directing while I was busy too. Like, those two were delegating to each other. Not everyone could have been Nick, where he was laying down most of the work, so I just, did what I thought I could do. I don't want to. I don't want you to think like you didn't do anything because when we sat down for the design, it wasn't 100% Abby's idea. It was like, what do we like? What are we familiar with? And you guys both chimed in with birds, and I didn't really have a an idea that I felt that tied into me. My contribution is okay. How can I fill in the background? We can't have too many foreground elements. I think she was more important than she gave herself credit for. I don't know if that's something that she wanted to do or you know just that instant moment where. Sometimes you say things and it doesn't come out the right way. Uh, basically, it is kind of symbolic of the competition. I gotta say, I know it is the monstrosity of the bunch, but that is all of our work on there. We've got Mike and Jerry, the god kings of the competition, <laughs> where the giant octopus is basically flinging all the contestants back into the pit. Those are us. Who's who? I'll be this one. And, and that blue guy. You're the bunny rabbit. It was a communicative effort you know, that everyone had a hand in it. It was really, it really was friendship, <laughs> the drawing. There's a little bit of shame, but there's a whole lot of, well, mostly shame and then a little bit of pride. First question, is that meant to be pineapple maki? Yes, I think. <laughs> Having it look like me wasn't my first choice. It kind of is him. It looks a lot like him, except a pineapple version of him. He says that that beard is not him, but that's, 
totally him. Can pineapple maki be the name of a cocktail? Yes. It probably already is. All right, who wants to walk us through this? First of all, we wanted to start off with something that was, you know, big and bold, visible from a distance. The theme of the house we're living in is pineapples and there's also a lot of beards. I don't like to feel like I'm hogging some sort of spotlight or being some sort of celebrity, but, you know, it, it worked, it was iconic, and, you know, it was, it was, it was natural, so I, I accepted the, the role of being Pineapple Maki. I enjoyed it the most, I think, out of anything we've done. So what do you guys think? All the teams worked well together. Everybody contributed, and it doesn't seem like there were any problems with collaborating. Yeah, that was Amy weird. seemed to think that she didn't collaborate much with her team. I wasn't sure. They seemed to think that she collaborated. I was surprised that this team initially. It wasn't until the half hour spot that they even had the pineapple blocked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even even at that point, like they were just slowly getting on the little rings and stuff, which was really cool how they actually got to it, mm -hmm. making the little stencils and stuff. Yeah, I was initially worried about them because of their slow start, but um, after seeing them all come together, I'm actually uh, really impressed with uh, how iconic of a design they were able to pull off. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like they really worked well in the medium by using big, bold shapes and something that was simple enough that they had time to go back and refine things. The team of Tavis, Erica, and Monica, I was really into their design partway through, and I feel like they spent too much time embellishing it later on. I agree. Mm -hmm, me too. I liked their approach of how they incorporated each of their own ideas, but I feel like it sort of um, looks a little cluttered, like they it kind of looks like they had three separate ideas and tried to smoosh them together rather than having like more of one cohesive concept. I was impressed with their resourcefulness. Tavis described them using the, the pencils uh, to actually scrape away paint or to actually use it as a paintbrush, I thought was. Um, yeah, they, he was like spraying like globs and then painting with the mm -hmm. actual pencil. I thought that was really smart. Yeah, I thought it was very clever. So what about the last team, Amy, Abby, and Masterclass Nick? I was expecting a lot because he had previous experience, so um, I feel like their piece fell a little short of what I was expecting. And I understand that they were trying to um, keep things simple and bold to work well with the medium, but I think it was that it, it did not come out as well as they had hoped. I mean, the, the things I do like about it is just, it has this depth of field where it's, because you could see the, mm -hmm. the wing and it kind of, the, uh, the vine kind of brings your eye like, it kind of pulls yourself into mm -hmm. it. They tried to spray some yellow in the middle to try to give it a sort of, um, different shade to, to also convey the depth. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it like from the actual uh, driveway, like they all look great from a distance. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how you're supposed to see them, right? Mm -hmm. That went really well. I think despite a lot of you not being familiar with the medium, you came up with three really excellent designs. But in the end, we felt that one team really excelled at producing just, just an excellent final product that they all had a serious hand in creating. And that team is? Maki's team. Good job, you guys. The pineapple maki was simple, direct, and uh, spoke, it was a good in-joke for the house. That pineapple was bitchin'. It was a good design. I felt like they deserved it. It was actually sort of surprising though, because I thought we did really well. Like, I was really confident about this one. Maki, Mac, Katie, very, very good job. It's a great design. It reads well at a distance. You really took your time to put it together, and all three of you had a, had a real hand in creating it. And as a reward, all three of you receive a free Artist's Alley booth at New York City Comic Con 2013, courtesy of our sponsors, New York City Comic Con. So congratulations, and let's head on back to the house. I've always wanted to be part of Artist's Alley at New York Comic Con. That's an amazing prize, that's, that's really cool. As I was unexpected with the, what we were doing this morning, I was equally unexpected with, by the prize. I'm pleased I didn't win. <laughs> I wish I had won a booth at uh, New York Comic Con. That's awesome, and those guys are gonna like have a blast. Um, but I am happy, and I think Nick will be happy to um, fly under the radar uh, for a little bit today. Next time on Strip Search. This afternoon, we have a very important challenge for you. I pretty much shit my pants right there. That's fucking awesome. I am not the strongest artist here. I wanted to at least have something that looked finished. I started to struggle, like, my nerves kind of caught up with me.